Hello and welcome back to uh, a lovely autumn morning here in Lincolnshire and we're about ready to go for another moto vlog. Let's go. So like I was just saying, welcome to uh, a lovely autumn day here in Lincolnshire. You can see all the, uh, the leaves are turning brown and falling off the trees. And of course my uh, American friends call this time of year fall, which uh, what a great name for autumn, fall. It coincides with all the, uh, the leaves falling off the trees like I said. Now we're uh, a bit... Uh, bit shiny. Would help if I can get it into gear. Oh yes, the sun is shining. Another lovely day here. The past uh, few days it's been pouring down with rain. I've been hoping to do uh, a few more moto vlogs, but uh, unfortunately haven't been able to do that. But with the weather, now we're in autumn. Soon be winter. Soon be time to uh, put the bike away, I think. Six down there, dual carriageway. Now, uh, before I forget, hello to all my friends out there in YouTube land. I hope you're doing all right. I hope you're still surviving this uh, deadly coronavirus that we've still got. Still killing people. Such a terrible time this 2020. You know, we've come out of lockdown a bit here in England. Things have been eased. I mean, back in uh, March, April time, we were getting around uh, 900 deaths a day, and that uh, that dropped down to uh, about 10 deaths a day about six weeks ago. But now, now we're up to 200 deaths a day, and it looks like there's a possibility that we're going to go back into lockdown again which, uh, well, really won't be much fun at all if that happens. All the shops will be closed, all the schools will be closed, you know. We won't be able to go back to work again. Devastating for the, uh, the owners of the businesses and that. And that. All these places will be closing down because of it. Now, let's get on to the... Uh, the topic I was uh, going to be talking about today, which uh, which is helmets. I've had uh, a couple of uh, messages from people asking me about the helmet that I'm actually wearing today. This one, this one I've got here. I've been uh, saying, is that uh, is that a Stimson helmet that you're wearing? 
an early Stimson. Well, uh, no, it isn't. This is actually uh, a bandit, a bandit Alien 2 from uh, 1990, uh, 1990, 1984. Yes, 1984. I purchased this uh, this helmet. 84. I hear you all scream. Yes. I know uh, the guidelines state that you should really uh, change your helmet every uh, five years, but uh, I bought this helmet from new. It doesn't uh, doesn't come out much. This one. I have other helmets. In fact, I bought uh, a new AGV um, six seven months ago now. But. Uh, I use the new helmet uh, most of the time, it's just I didn't want to stick GoPro mounts on it and that and spoil it. So I got this one out of the box because it's got uh, this this flat front to it. So I thought that would be ideal to uh, to put a GoPro onto the front. But one of the things why I don't I don't wear this this helmet much is because there's uh, it's got all these vents at the front of it and there's no way of closing the vents. They're open all the time. And uh, yeah, that's okay during the summer. You get some nice fresh air in through the vents, but during the winter time you can't close them. So it's either uh, too clo uh, too cold in inside the helmet, or it's misting up and that. So uh, I don't tend to wear this one much. It normally spends its life inside its box. But yes, the, uh, the government guidelines state that you should always change your helmet once every five years. Because you know what helmets are like when you take them off and you, uh, you put them on your seat, on your motorcycle seat, and what happens? They drop off onto the concrete or to the tarmac or whatever. And of course, after uh, several times of doing this, The, uh, either the, the composite or the, the laminate or whatever starts to break away and the inside of the helmet uh, is not as strong as it should be. It's like, uh, you know, you should never ever buy a second-hand helmet because you've got no idea of the sort of uh, life that helmet has, uh, has lived, where it's been and if it's been in any accidents or things like that. Now, uh, a few years back, I remember walking through uh, through a park, and there were some lads playing uh, football with uh, with a helmet, with an open face helmet. You know, just having a kick about. And after about uh, 20 minutes of uh, playing football with this helmet, uh, one of the lads uh, gets hold of the helmet, sticks it on his head, and gets on his scooter and rides off. And you think that's incredible. That helmet could be uh, split, cracked, whatever. So yes, never ever buy a second-hand helmet. Now I've said that. I said never ever buy a second-hand helmet. And what did I do last week? Yes, I bought a second-hand helmet. Now uh, this motorbike I'm, I'm riding now, this uh, BMW R850R, it's nearly 25 years old. And I thought, um, wouldn't it be great to uh, to get the helmet that matches the bike from uh, 1994 onwards? And so I looked through some of the uh, the BMW Motorrad catalogues, looking for the uh, the helmet that matches this bike to see if I could get one. But uh, seem to be in short supply now. Like I said, after five years, you should uh, bin your helmets and get a new one. But what I did see on eBay was uh, a 1985 BMW Motorrad helmet made by a company called uh, Schubert or Schuberth. I'm not sure how they uh, they pronounce it. It had no bids, and so uh, I thought, oh, well, just uh, I'll put a bid on. I'll, I'll start them off, you know, a starting bid. And uh, as luck would uh, would have it, nobody else bid on the helmet, and I got it. Got this helmet for next to nothing. And uh, if you look through the uh, the BMW Motorrad catalogues of the uh, the 1980s, 
you could see that lots of uh, riders in the catalogues were wearing this particular helmet. You know, 95, uh, no, I keep saying 90, it's 85 and uh, especially in the 88 catalogues when um, they were riding around on, there be a lot of people here considering, you wouldn't think there was a pandemic on, would you? Yes, what was I saying? Yes, the, uh, especially in the, the 1988 catalogue, there's all these, uh, these BMW riders riding uh, K1s and they're all wearing this helmet. Now it's uh, a modular helmet, this one. I shall show you it all when I get back home. And if you don't know what uh, a modular helmet is, there's, basically there's, there's three sorts of helmets you can get. There's the, the open face helmet, which uh, we call the, uh, well, we've nicknamed the piss pot in this country because, uh, well, you turn it upside down and it does uh, resemble a urinal or a, a baby's potty. So that's the, uh, the open face helmet. And then you get the, uh, the full face helmet that I'm, I'm wearing today, this one. And then you get what they call the modular helmet. Now, the modular helmet is, uh, is like a full face, but the front all lifts up to reveal um, an open face helmet. But what I shall do uh, this winter when it's too cold to, uh, to go out, or if we do actually go in back into another lockdown, We'll uh, pull the helmet to pieces and restore it. We'll have a look at uh, every single millimetre of the helmet to uh, to check to see if there's um, any splits or anything. Or anything like that. I shall also uh, change all the lining inside it as well. If there's no splits or cracks and the uh, the laminate looks okay, then I shall possibly use it because it's the same colour as this bike, which is what I was after. The uh, the striping on it is a slightly different shade of uh, of red and doesn't match the uh, the seats or my jacket, of course. But uh, maybe I can get some different stripes to it that actually matches. I don't know. Get back, uh, back to my house. I shall show you the uh, the helmet and see what you think to it. A few uh, bikers riding around today, which is nice, taking advantage of the good weather we have today. Like I said, the past few days been uh, been rotten. Here am I saying don't buy a, a second-hand helmet and what do I do? I go out and I buy a second-hand helmet. Well that's just, uh, you know, one thing you should never do because like I said you've got no idea what sort of life it's lived. But anyway with this one, like I said, I shall uh, pull it all to pieces and we shall uh, check it all over. be all right if I had uh, an x-ray machine or something and I could uh, see what it's like inside, you know.
well, like I was saying, you wouldn't uh, you wouldn't think there was a pandemic about the amount of people there are. It's no wonder that the death rate's going up. Trying to uh, avoid facing the sun. once and I'll say it again, just a, a wonderful old motorcycle this one, this old BMW. Going this way, and uh, the sun is possibly on the uh, the lens. Now, interesting, love the uh, the motorcycle uh, helmet law. Actually, uh, came into force way back in uh, 1973 here in this country because of the uh, the, de the death rates of, uh, of motorcyclists. Although many motorcyclists at the time were actually wearing helmets anyway because of our uh, our climate, we don't get uh, too many sunny days. It's normally. Uh, drizzly wet weather we get here and high winds and whatever you can probably hear now it's very windy today even though the sun's shining so yes I think in 19, uh, 1972 there was uh, 505 deaths uh, from motorcyclists so they decided to bring the, the law in where you must wear a helmet helmet wearing was uh, compulsory and then in 1974, there was 506 deaths. So even though the, uh, the wearing of a helmet had become compulsory, it didn't cut the deaths down. It still basically stayed the same. Now, I'm one of those people who don't like wearing a helmet, I have to say that. Yes, it's great in weather like this where it's cold and it's windy and it's, uh, and of course, if it's raining. But uh, you do actually feel very, very claustrophobic wearing a helmet, I have to say that. And also, I can't hear anything around me apart from wind. All I'm getting is uh, wind noise and, of course, uh, noise from the engine. That's all I can hear. Uh, I can't hear people shouting at me or uh, people blowing their horns at me or ambulance sirens or whatever going off. All I can hear is the wind and uh, the engine noise. Now many, many years ago I did actually ride a uh, a Honda CD200 Roadmaster from um, Dubai to uh, Abu Dhabi in the United Arab Emirates without a helmet. I was doing the older uh, Peter Fonda easy rider bit, you know, but uh, 
unfortunately not on the uh, the Captain America chopper. And of course, this was uh, many 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 years ago before uh, the United Arab Emirates became the uh, the Monte Carlo of the Arab world. You know, before the police started driving around in Lamborghinis. On a safety side of things though, I think it's always best, if you can, to wear a helmet. Like I said, there's uh, nothing more I love than to, to ride without a helmet, especially in the summertime. And uh, strangely enough, they had a, a survey in America. And it seems that there was more deaths from uh, riders wearing helmets in the, in the states where it's compulsory than uh, riders uh, in other states where it's not compulsory to wear helmets and they actually put that down to speed it seems the riders who um, who weren't wearing a helmet rode their bikes slower than the uh, the riders who do I'm guessing wearing a helmet and that uh, lures you into a, a false sense of security, you know, you, can, you think, oh, I'm wearing all this stuff, nothing's going to happen to me. Well, I've got news, that, that car that's going to pull out in front of you is going to pull out in front of you whether you're wearing a helmet or not. But uh, if you're not going as fast, then you've got time to stop. There's another factor with that uh, American survey, of course, is that the states where uh, helmet wearing is compulsory are, uh, are huge cities compared to the uh, the states that don't have a, a helmet law. So there's more traffic on the road. So it's you know it's it's one of those things. But I just find uh, wearing a helmet very, like I said, claustrophobic. And of course you've got this, this huge thing round your face and it's very uh, obstructive. You know there are blind spots on each side. If I go like this, I can't see directly behind me. I really have to go like that to strain my neck round to actually see what's behind me. that's it really, the ins and outs of wearing a helmet.
slowing down a bit there for the uh, the speed camera. It's only 30 mile an hour down here. Seems to be speed cameras everywhere these days. I think uh, now that we've had this uh, little chat about helmets, I shall uh, make my way home now, I think. And I'll show you this helmet, which I shouldn't have bought. And uh, of course, for all those who are asking, this uh, this helmet here, it's not a Stimson. This is a Bandit Alien 2 from 1984. Okay, well here we are, back in the garage, and this is the helmet I was uh, talking about on the run that we've just had. This is the uh, the helmet that, uh, well, basically I bought for next to nothing on eBay. Like I said, I was uh, looking for a helmet that matched this BMW motorbike. So I've been uh, looking through the uh, the BMW Motorrad catalogues, trying to find the, uh, the actual um, helmet that went with the bike in sort of 1995 and well there wasn't uh, wasn't very many about certainly not in the color that I wanted but uh, I found this one on eBay and uh, nobody put a bid on it and so I thought I'd put a bid on and uh, well as luck would have it I actually won it and like I said I got it for next to nothing and this is uh, quite a rare helmet this is like I was saying, there's three basic types of helmet you, you can get. You can get the open face helmet, which of course doesn't have any of this round here. And of course there's oh, there's hundreds of different styles of uh, open face helmet. There's even ones that look like um, bowls that you just, like a little bowl on your head that's strapped around you. And then there's the, the, the full face helmet that I'm wearing today, as you can see here. And then, of course, there's these helmets that you call modular helmets, which basically there's, there's a couple of uh, buttons on the, the side of the helmet here, and this flips up. So what you've got there is an open-face helmet and a full-face helmet combined. So if I just put this down a little bit, and there's, there's the visor that flips up. So that is your modular helmet. Now I believe these came uh, came out in about 1981, and again for BMW, I think BMW were the first uh, ones to market these. Uh, made by a German company called uh, Schubert of uh, West Germany, as it states on here, underneath here, where well, you can see there, as it says, made in West Germany by Schubert for BMW. So a genuine. Schubert BMW helmet this is and if we look um, inside inside here there is a, a date marker where it says manufactured in 1985 there's also another date as well there which uh, somebody has written on which says uh, 1988 so I'm not too sure about that whether it's designed in, 80, uh, in uh, 85 and then produced in 88 I don't know but I know that when I've looked in the uh, 
the BMW Motorrad catalogues. All of the riders in the 1988 catalogue are all wearing these. And I'll just put a couple of uh, pictures up here now of uh, riders riding the famous K1 BMW motorcycle that's uh, wearing these. And as you can see, the colour of the helmet near enough matches the tank. And it's a pity that uh, the stripes on it don't match the seat. But maybe I can get... Uh, some more stripes that do match the seat and the jacket as well so we can all be colour coordinated you know but yes quite an amazing find this is because these Schubert helmets are very very expensive indeed um, to buy and if we look there which I shall zoom in in a minute you can see a tiny little BMW badge right there in the side of the helmet so yes a wonderful piece most definitely and the visor looks in very very good condition indeed now I don't know if you can uh, get those or not I shall have to co uh, contact Schubert to see if they still make the visors of this particular model and uh, well we're coming up to winter shortly so what I shall do during the winter months when I can't get out and about I'm going to pull this helmet to pieces and I shall check every single millimeter it's a pity that I can't x-ray it really to make sure that it is 100% uh, and there's no uh, delamination or anything because I think it is uh, a fiberglass helmet this one is and of course we shall change all this inside now all this is in remarkable condition round here I think this is uh, genuine leather round here but inside this material inside is a, a like a, a foam a, a, a material that uh, covers the foam but the foam backing on there deteriorates and it turns into like a dust after time but uh, this does look in remarkable conditions but like I said I'll take it to pieces because I mean you don't want to really wear something uh, you know a helmet that somebody else has uh, had their sweaty head inside so I shall change all that and I shall check the helmet over of course if it does look damaged at all in any place then uh, I shan't use it, I'll just polish it up and put it on display with the rest of the helmets that I have so that's it, that is the uh, the modular helmet that I got off eBay a genuine BMW Schubert helmet no less so we shall see how this goes during the winter uh, next year if it all goes well I shall possibly use this helmet it all depends where I can put uh, a GoPro attachment on it somewhere so anyway that's it thanks uh, thanks very much for watching I hope you've enjoyed this video if you have then please give us a thumbs up and maybe you'd like to subscribe so uh, until next time I'll see you soon.